What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the Recording Hub. Having, I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, my birthday, so if you're watching this video as a as a, a gift for this birthday, I would just love if you would just leave a like on the video and consider sharing it. But uh, the Bud Light situation is developing seemingly every hour or so as their market cap loss now has crossed five billion dollars in the last 48 hours are there other market forces at play here maybe but bud light was on a historic run of non-stop gains to their highest stock number all year long and new reports of not only um, local bars and customers being outraged but distributors now being very concerned surely isn't helping their stock price at all and you know what else I absolutely love it. And, uh, you know, secondary secondary birthday gift, just letting everyone know, Coffee Brand Coffee has rolled out our strawberries and cream flavor. I have a feeling it's going to be our best seller. I'd, it's going to probably crush Blueberry Cobbler, which is already our number one seller. But uh, for a birthday gift, too, it would be cool. if I'm not going to go through all the delicious coffee, teas, and cocos that we have right here in our United States uh, facilities. Uh, Annie's here. All I ask for for my birthday too is uh, just check out the reviews. Uh, I'd love to earn your business, and um, I'm hoping today you'll take the plunge and give my coffee tea or cocoa a try. Now, experts are now weighing in. The controversy over Bud Light's partnerships uh, may have legs. "Quote: It's way too early to tell whether or not the controversy will ultimately hurt the brewer's bottom line," said Evercore ISI analyst Robert Ottenstein. Nevertheless, there is plenty of anecdotal evidence showing its potential to wreak havoc. What do you think, Annie? Did Bud Light go woke? Yeah. Should people buy coffee brand coffee? Delicious coffee, teas, and cocos? Yeah. Okay. Now, 11 days after Anheuser-Busch delivered custom-made cans to Mulvaney with Mulvaney's mug, on them to the influencer, Kid Rock used Bud Light cans for target practice. Squabbles have broken out in bars, and distributors are canceling events featuring the iconic Clydesdale horses. On top of that, uh, not only we saw Travis Tritt come out and say, you know, this is off my rider. John Rich came out and said it's off his rider. And then uh, John Rich has just recently said that he's going to just remove it. He may remove it from his bar altogether, which I think would be great. This boycott seems to have more legs than most, Justin Kendall, editor of beer industry trade publication Brewbound, told The Post. Yeah, I mean, it's got more legs. Uh, you know, let's look at just, you know, as of today, when we look at the market cap, let's look at the market cap reaction to this, okay? So the way you calculate, you know, if we look at market cap, which is essentially all the money invested, all the shares out there at the certain share price, you see today, the stock is still down about 1.17%. It's recovered a little bit, but it looks like it's heading back down. The current market cap is 114.26 billion. When this started, wait, that can't be right. 114.26. Hmm. This is reported at 132 billion on March 31st. Even if we go into April 3rd, which is two days after the initial backlash or the initial ad, it was at 132. So you have serious drop. You're well over $5 billion. You crossed the $3 billion on April 11th. And then if we look at the market cap for today, yikes, uh, $114.62 billion. I think, yeah, $114.62 billion. It must have been a little higher back here, but has now crossed the $5 billion threshold. Yeah, well, anyway, it seems like everybody's listening a little bit different. Was that three, four billion lost the other day? The stock's gone down now over the last five days. We can see it's gone down twice in significant spats. And again, they continue to refuse to comment online about anything. And again, here's more, even the LGBTQ community is pushing back on this. This is amusing and gratifying report about the hit Bud Light is taking over its recent marketing campaign. 
one pub in Hell's Kitchen, a New York City neighborhood known for its large and vocal gay community, reported that Bud Light draft sales were down 58% this week, while Bud Light bottle sales were down 70%. And let's not even talk what's going on. Dart Leagues, we talked about the Dart Leagues where they just stopped giving it up. Um, it's, it's, it's hitting everywhere. You see John Rich says Bud Light sales have fallen off a cliff at Nashville Bar. Nobody seems interested in Bud Light. At John Rich's Nashville Bar, Redneck Riviera, the popular beer has taken a massive hit ever since teaming up with Dylan Mulvaney. People are not happy the company decided to team up with someone who seems to make a mockery of being a woman. Following, a collaborate, a collab, following the collaboration, John Rich hinted that Bud Light would be replaced at Redneck Riviera, and it sounds like that point is rapidly nearing. The member of Big and Rich revealed during an interview with Tucker Carlson that nobody is buying it anymore, and it's not just sitting, and he's and he's not just sitting on cases and cases of beer. That means something has to be done. If it's not selling, then it's gone. Quote: The customers decide. Customers are king. I own a bar in downtown Nashville. Our number one selling beer up until a few days ago was what? Bud Light. We've got cases and cases and cases of it sitting back there, but in the past several days. You're hard-pressed to find anyone even ordering one. So as a business owner, I go, hey, if you aren't ordering it, we put something else in here. And at the end of the day, that's capitalism. That's how it works. Bud Light sales have taken a massive hit at bars around America. Some bars have seen sales decline more than 50%. If Fox News, like, this is the thing that's that's kind of funny about all this, like the gaslighting. Um, it's not, I mean... You mean you mean to tell me that dozens and dozens of bars, even in the LGBTQ community, are are just lying and they're just saying, "Hey, yeah, um, yeah, our our sales are down. You know, uh, just trust us." What what good would that do them? Like it would it would do them literally no good whatsoever. This is what happens when companies go woke. Bud Light's vice president of marketing, Alyssa Gordon Heinerschneid made it clear that she wanted to eliminate the beer brand's frat guy image. I actually don't think that it had a uh, a frat guy image. It just had like an everyman image or every woman, just whatever beer. And even Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn is hilariously confused by the Dylan Mulvaney clip. I mean, look at this. Bud Light is uh, getting a lot of heat right now. I don't know if you've heard this. They did a pact with a, they did a collaboration with a trans activist. Okay. Dylan Mulvaney. Um, mm-hmm. I just don't understand this. I don't understand that as a marketing tool. <laughs> Unless. Nobody does, brother. <laughs> maybe they know something that we don't. Maybe they're trying to, like, you start to think if there's bigger powers out there that are influencing, like, they want more confrontative type stuff. You know, I just don't understand the connection. Like, unless you want, I don't know if Bud Light drink. I just don't know if I'm a Bud Light, if I'm a beer, (laughs) if I want to get something that's making me discuss like a uh, topic that's argumentative. Yes, Theo Vaughn, that's exactly correct. Um, It it makes no sense whatsoever as a brand. Um, And even like, I'm sure Theo is, you know, uh, uh, wanting to play it safe here. He's still in Hollywood, and he's got to be like you know somewhat, um, you know, respective. And again, I also will continue to say this. By the way, I don't blame Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan Mulvaney is an excellent grifter. Okay, I blame the companies that are giving Dylan Mulvaney millions of dollars. Like Bud Light is probably one of the only examples thus far. That has had the kind of aggressive backlash that um, that uh, you know we're seeing. You know, Oil of Olay is a makeup brand, right? Uh, there was a small boycott on Twitter. Um, you had um, before that uh, Ulta Beauty Supplies this was like a woman's store again. Mini tiny Tempest in a teapot didn't really you know get hammered. But in Bud Light's case, again, it was, <laughs> it says, uh, you know, in most interesting, the person off screen and Vaughn both appeared to wonder if Bud Light was trying to crush its old image. 
I mean, w- <laughs> yeah, I, I would I'd venture to say most of their clients aren't interested in that. Right. That's what they, yeah. It's like, it's almost that like thing where it's like, why do you put it, if it's something, just let it be something. Why does it have to be something that you use as a uh, tool for marketing all the time? I think they're just trying to get in the trans market. You think so? <laughs> how much? Tra- how many trans people are there? Four. <laughs> they're not trying to get. <laughs> um, it's a UCLA study. Yeah, twenty twenty two. I mean, there's there's like. Nearly one in five people who identified as transgender are ages 13 to 17. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, they're not buying beer. You know, and they're not drinking Bud Light either. This is not about... I mean, they'll go on to this whole clip. I won't play it. You watch Theo's clip. But he's like, his hilarious, like, what in the heck were they thinking uh, is exactly what the rest of us are thinking. And again, this is not going away. Um, I suspect today InBev will be down again. Um, I don't see a lot of people, quote unquote, buying the dip. So it's going to be interesting to see just how far this all sinks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. I hope you'll try out coffeebrandcoffee.com. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll definitely keep bringing you the news as it breaks. We'll talk to you again real soon.